Hello, it's Sarah. And I have some artist trading blocks I want to share. These are actually the wooden ones that my husband made me to do my art doll. Um, I'm seeing Sizzix now has a die to do a block. Um, and I know you can buy uh, cardboard boxes that you can f then, you know, fold back it down and ship them. Do you know what I'm saying? So this is really a very permanent block, obviously. It's a block of wood. Um, and I was inspired by a couple of different um, artists that I've seen. One is um, Stamp Tramp, her name is, and I can't think of the names. I should write this stuff down so that, you know, but I'm so anxious to show my projects. Um, and the other one was Friends in Art. Her name is Linda Kane. I remember that. Um, so this one is a kind of a combination of the two of those that I saw. Linda had done hers with, um, and I'm pretty sure she used archival inks. I don't have the archival inks in colors, so I used my stays on because I have that. Um, and she did do the paper version. Um, and she used, um, I, I believe this is called the bandana technique when you do the colors like this and then this part when I fussy cut out these images and put them on that was kind of what Stamp Tramp did and I can't think of her name anyway so let me just show you what I did um, I just took the block basically it, I had gessoed it just a very thin coat of gesso and then I was using the little sponges that you get at the um well I'm gonna do I'm gonna show you what I did so I'm just not even gonna like explain it really but I had wanted to play with my um, my newest Tim Holtz set, my stamp set here, and it's the London and Paris combo. It's called um, Paris to London. It's I think a little bit of a smaller version of the stamps because they're separate too. There's a London and a Paris one stamp set. So anyway, I had wanted to play with that, and so I did. I I stamped some of the bigger images in the background. So this one has. Um, the Union Jack, which is their flag. I put London down here, and there's just a key and like some random mail art type stuff there. But then I, I used Big Ben as my focal image, and then I have this littler stamp from a different stamp set that had Paris, New York, and London. So I just stamped that out and cut London out of that. I love how these corners turned out on here. I put Brad's, I had to actually, like, I used this, because this is wood. <laughs> I couldn't just use it as a brad, but I have this, like, poker. I forget why I have these. I have a bunch of, oh, you know why? For tin art. I was going to do, like, punch tin. Anyway, I have, the, like, this wider one. Where the heck is it? Of course, I'm not prepared. I think this is it. Yeah. So I just used my mallet and, like, punched in a hole, and then I just glued the brads. I cut the brads a little shorter, but... I really like that effect. I think they turned out so cool on there um, with these corners. These are his um, box corners, I guess they're called. I used um, one of the dies from his um, Gears sets, and this was black chipboard. It was in my stash. Like, I cut out a bunch of stuff before and, like, throw it in this box, and so I just rummaged through it. But I used the um, the gold, Inca gold on this. I'm loving these... Um, the Inca Golds. These are amazing. I was using Rub and Buff, but I'm preferring these now. The color is so gorgeous. So anyway, because it was black, and then I just didn't want it to be black, so I put the Inca Gold on that. And then I used a clock and a clock key on top. And I just love how that turned out. So I did the, I showed the London side. Now these are the feet that are very much like the Tim Holtz feet, but these are actually from Hobby Lobby. And I just glued them on there with um, glossy accents. And then I put a little bit of the gold rub and buff over that too, just to tie in the gold. I went around the edges of all this with the Inca gold as well. Then this side I used, um, is this in that set? Yeah, this, this um, hot air balloon is in the London Paris, Paris to London set. And then I had, this was another new stamp set. Like I've had these sets for a while. I think it's one of his classics and it has this um, compass and then it said voyage. So I just put, I cut out the journey. I just went through all my stamps. Like I think journey is on here. No, this one has imagination, but anything that I could find like a word that I could cut out, 
like this with that was kind of clear I just went through my stamps and kind of looked for that but this one says journey and then I also rubbed um, distress stickles all over everything too this one has a lot more Paris stuff in the background and I just put the um, Eiffel Tower stamp back there and then this guy I just love him I don't know if he's like a French dude or what and it looks like he needs a cane so I might have to put a cane there and then this side was yeah this is one of those classic stamps and it's the dragonfly I think you can see that back there I just put that stamp on there and fussy cut out these butterflies from the same um, I'm pretty sure it's the same one no it's a different one but it's another classics now this one's called papillion papillon um, those the butterflies from the papillon so I just fussy cut them out and put imagination and I think that's it for this one but I absolutely love it I just think it turned out so cool so I'll show you a little bit of how I did that I have some other stuff cut out to do it again um, if you want to see it you don't you can cut away but this is a different version um, I use the paper this is the new paper line um, it's right here and it is called uh, of course I don't have the cover fell off the book but you know it's the new one that's like more pretty here it is um, wallflower I'm sorry I have no memory so I just um, basically I cut I think I inked the corners like I didn't even paint the block I started out with it plain I just like inked the corners and then I put the rub and buff on there so I mean it looks you know it's grungy and it looks good so I just picked some of the different um, patterns that I liked this one's kind of be basically birds I went with the birds and just cut the paper with a smidge of room around the edges and then this stamp which I love and we've all we all probably have this the Lo love wish dream stamp it's in a lot of his sets it's in a couple different sets that I have from back when he first started out and so I just stamped these out cut them out and put love on top and I just put because this paper you can't see it anymore but it had flowers up there and so I just kind of went with that um, pulled some metal pieces from my stash and just went with it. I had these metal flowers that I just got at Hobby Lobby. So I figured I'd just go with the flowers. I put love and dream there. Oh, these are the hinge fasteners or hitch fasteners they're called. They come with little screws and you could use them as a little doorknob. I think I might use one as a doorknob. I bought one of these doors. I have so many projects that I can't wait to get to, but I, I might, it's a little small. But I think it might be cute because um, this would be too big. I think that would be too big. Anyway, uh, <laughs> they're cool, these little hitch fasteners. And I'm down to like this one. I'm just going to put two silver and two gold because I, I, I'm running out. But um, the one I'm going to make. But this one I have just four hitch fasteners on the bottom. I glued them on without the um, screw. And I put dream... And this one, I just put a metal flower and maybe a corner on each side. I fussy cut out the nest. I put a little metal leaf there and put wish. And then just a flower. And like if this, I think this might have been a silver flower, but I, <coughs> I think it was my, um, my gold leafing pen. So that's just another version you could do. It's Tim Holtzy. It's kind of cool. So, um, you know what, I'm going to go away and come back and I'll show you how I did that, um, this ombre technique and I, or I, I want to say ombre, but I think it's bandana. I don't know. We'll see. I'll come, I'll come right back. So for this technique I'm using, I used, um, those little, uh, makeup sponges and I used paper towel and it all just kind of came apart. I think this is just too much of a rough surface. So, um, I'm using this just, oh, I, I had done a technique class and this is just a, like a piece of fabric type thing. I don't know what it is, but it's cotton. And I'm using stays on. And now red and yellow make orange, yellow and blue make green, and red and blue make purple. So these three are a very good um, way to go because that way when you blend over them, they're creating another color. So basically, I think I'm just going to start with yellow. I love the smell of stays on. Do you guys know? <laughs> I love the smell of it. I don't know why I'm so weird. And I just take, I'm wearing a glove because this will get all over me. But I just take this and I'm kind of rubbing it. And I'm just going to rub it on the wood. My hand's in the way. I guess I could go up a little higher, but I think we're good. 
and I'm just going to put it different areas all around the sides. I'm going to, I actually will rub a hole in this. Um, I am very rough. I am not gentle. And I will probably rub a hole in this fabric because that's how hard I'm rubbing. And I think I did go around and do a second um, coat after I um, finished just to brighten it up to really make the colors pop. So let's go with the red now. Let's see, we're going to make some orange. So I'm just going to change places on my, um, and just hit it in different places. But you can see when you start to rub over the, the yellow areas, you get orange. It's so cool. And you can do this on an ATC. Like, I think I am going to make some ATCs exactly like this. Like, I'm going to do um, the background the same way on the ATC. And then I'm just going to um, fussy cut out some stuff. So I think I'm going to be... I could probably have done this, um, like, little example on an um, ATC, too. So basically, you only need to have three colors. This one's coming up much brighter than I remember the other one. M m the other one might have had more, like, pit, like, the wood was pitted more and stuff, so it just didn't, I don't remember it being so bright right away on the other one. So I think I have red on each side. All right, so now let's go into the blue. I really didn't mix, like, look, even my fingerprint made it, like, a little orange. I didn't mix very much of that. I don't see a lot of orange, so I'll come back and redo it, and I'll show you. Maybe I'll go off camera. So let's see. So as I'm rubbing this blue into the red area, I'm making purple, and I just made green on that, see? And I'm just gonna, I'm gonna rub a little blue. And this is actually a teal color. It's not, um, let me see. It's called teal blue, but I just like, I have the regular blue, but I like, I like, I love teal, teal blue. So yeah, so I just made some purple and some green, and then there's a nice part of blue right there. So that's a good side. I'll do that again. I probably don't need to do the bottom, but I did the bottom on the um, first one, and it, it's just kind of more finished that way. Then I don't have to worry about it. I think um, I put paper on the other side too, so because um, I think I painted my art doll, I painted black. See, I kind of got rid of a lot of the um, yellow there, so I think I'm going to come back with yellow on that side. So I guess you get the idea. I think I'll go away and come back and I'll, when I'm all done and everything's blended and um, show you the next step. All right, I'm back. Um, I think I got the block uh, pretty. I like it. It's bright. I don't like this, so that's going to be the bottom. And I'll probably just take one of my um, distress markers and kind of fill in those. That's just from the wood. I'm putting this clock on top. I've already prepared everything. I have, these are gonna be the stamps I'm gonna use to de decorate the sides because these are, this is little, I can get, that'll be done pretty quickly. I'm gonna use my archival for that. I could have used my black stays on, I don't know. I just went for the archival. Then I have these little images that I've already fussy cut and stamped out. I stamped these in versifying. I like the detail that VersaFine gets, and it's a pigment ink, it's permanent, um, and that's black, but I do use VersaFine for detail stamping, and these little stamps are so little that I just wanted to make sure, and I'll show you those in a minute, but first let's go ahead and do this. So one of my sides is going to have a butterfly, so I decided to just do this. Um, this is that Classics Dragonfly, and I love dragonflies. I think I want to get a dragonfly tattoo. So I'm just going to ink partially the side of it, and I'm going to, oops, I, I'm wearing a glove because I am such a messy stamper, I don't even know what, what the deal is with that, but I'm just going to set my, let's say, I want, set my block down, and I'm kind of pushing really hard, make sure that gets on the wood, pick it up, and there. So that's 
that's it. That's basically the background. And all you see is the little bottom part of the dragonfly, so I'm going to move that aside. Then another side of it's going to have this um, hot air balloon. So I really like this compass, um, and that should fit. I don't know. I think I'm going to do that off kilter, too. I want to make sure I'm going the right way. So I'm going to ink that up. And I think I'm going to try and get like a little bit of both of these in there. So I'm just going to put it there, push down, give it some nice pressure. And you've got the compass. Then I just love how the black looks on the colors like that. So this is just an older stamp set. This is like a postal, um, I don't know. I just, it was just on my desk and I thought it would fit. And so we'll see what that looks like. And just put that here. I like different like stamps that have different images, like collage stamps, I guess they would be called. So you get it all in one. Oh, that one came out nice and dark. Look at that. That's so pretty. And then this last one, it's the Eiffel Tower. It's kind of, I don't know if it's an ATC size stamp, but I'm going to try and get, because I'm going to put this little Eiffel Tower on here. I don't really need all of the Eiffel Tower, but probably this section here with the like, um, it looks like a shipping, let's see, it says Paris down there, but I'm putting Paris, yeah. All right, we'll see. But this block is so little, it's easy to uh, fit all this stuff. So this, I'm just going to stick it right up here. Pressure. See, I didn't really get a lot on that. Um, but you know what? It's going to be fine. I'm going to do the top, too. You know why? Because um, the top... I'm just pulling this stamp. This is just from the Paris, London to Paris, and it just, it's a bunch of, um, mailing things, shipping, shipping, like, uh, labels, I guess. But I just like it, and I want to put, I'm going to put this little part here that says Paris right on the bottom of that side. I like that. It just kind of filled in that side. And then I'll do the top with this. And that'll be all covered up anyway because of um, I'm going to glue that uh, clock on there. So then basically, I'm going to take off my glove, but I am such a messy stamper. I just take the side. So this side is the compass. So I want to put... Now all I've done, you guys know if you watch my videos that I love file folders. This is a file folder and this is the heavy duty one. See look, this is Paris, New York, London. I just cut those out of that stamp and used them for my Paris. I didn't use a London. Anyway, file folders. I And I think I've seen um, other artists, like I think it's Stamp Tramp who did the, uh, the other block that I liked, she uses her manila tags and just stamps on them, then cuts them apart. So I've already gone ahead and put, I love the 3M, um, I guess this is, oh gosh, I take the packaging off of everything, but this is that 3M dimensional tape, two-sided tape. I love it. I've got it in a couple widths. Walmart has the cheapest price I've seen. Um, and... I put that on the back of everything, and that's basically it for this, because this one was big enough that I could add the corners, I put the feet, the more bulky feet and stuff, um, and I love that. It adds a lot of more dimension, so we'll see. Maybe after this, I'll look around and see what other little um, pieces of metal I can add, but I'm just going to put the hot air. Oh, the other thing was on the original one, I did color these in, I think it's with raw linen, um, like on the antique linen, like on the Big Ben, I colored it because I wanted to see a difference with the, I put a little bit of the, um, glossy accents on there, but I did color, like I colored the moths, I made their bodies green, I don't know if I'm in the shot, like I just colored him, I made his mustache like a grayish color and stuff, but you don't have to do that. I like the variation of color when you do it 
also pretty the pretty background color and then you leave it um, just natural and this actually explore I did not have an explore word stamp so I pulled this from my um, chit chat and it's weird like I inked it I colored it to match because it was white like I wanted it to be the same color as the manila and it has like a double I don't know if you can see that but it's good enough so then this side is going to be the butterfly and I'm just going to put imagination up there I love this technique this um, I want to say bandana and if anybody knows please let me know uh, if you know for sure now I probably I don't know I could have colored the butterfly he kind of looks plain because you know butterflies are not plain but um, I like I said I just like the difference in the bright and then the um, so that's two sides then this side is going to be the Eiffel Tower and that was look at that little piece I put up there but hopefully it'll stick because it's very thin Oh, my just my big hands aren't in the way I think I'm gonna put this one on this side I covered up my Paris stamp oh well that's why I'm putting Paris over here and should I put it up and down I kind of think I should but I want to put it right here and then the last side is this little vintage car I love it and I found the word vintage it was actually in this stamp set this is a stamp set by um, stampers best and I know it's called something else another company but it just happened to have vintage pas uh, passion fashion pas Paris and France so I love the word vintage and it was kind of around the same size as uh, the other ones for this car I thought that was like a very I could put it down and change it up a little I think I'll leave it up uh, I think I am gonna do that try to change it up a little bit design wise so we're almost out of time I'm gonna go away and come back and show you what it looks like okay I'm back and it's all done I glued the um, clock piece to the top and it actually still turns which I'm pretty happy about I just use glossy accents I glued the hitch fasteners to the bottom for the little feet I just kind of pushed them to the corners of each corner and then the final thing I did was I just because this one's so little it couldn't really have that much metal pieces on it or whatever not that much that many I took my gold ink of gold I love ink of gold I told you and I just rubbed it along the edges just to give it a little something so that's it look how fast that came up I mean super fast um, I think I did go over the images with um, the vintage photo vintage I call it vintage antique linen I'm sorry just because I think it was a little too bright the uh, manila tag was a little too bright but I put a little blue um, this light light blue tumble glass just in the areas that would be representative of sky so that's my littlest block and then I went ahead and did a couple of ATC's in the same style to just show what you can do and I mean these worked up so quick again I did the voyage I put enjoy the journey and I actually used the little um, one the little hot air balloon and the big hot air balloon so I don't know I just kind of played and figured that one could be more in the in the background this one's closer I used the um, compass stamp and the voyage stamp and put enjoy the journey and popped a few things up I used the ink of gold along the edges I inked the edges too of things with um either walnut stain or vintage photo I did the Paris guy which I loved here he is on here kind of played off that I did the Florida Lee that came in the same um, stamp kit and just glued that to the paper I used my 
Yoohoo stick, which I love these. They're so sticky, and I've gotten used to that now from um, my class. I still might need to add a little cane for him, but I put Paris popped up. And then I did the London one with Big Ben. And then I have this Bobby. They're called Bobbies. And I did the little stamping in the background with the Union Jack and the London. But I thought I'd put him in there too. Like kind of in the background sort of kind of. So I think they turned out really cool. So that's it guys. That's my little share for um, my artist trading blocks. And this technique. I just thought it would be cool to share. Look there's the little mini block. And there's the bigger version. So, um, you could also add, I just found these in my stash, which I was going to go look at Michael's and see, but I like that for a top piece, so I might play and do another one of these. I just, they're so fun, and they come together really, really quick. So, I'm going to go see what I have here um, on this video, and thanks for watching.